Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Thank you again for joining me today. Uh, well, today I just wanted to talk about, um, oh boy, this is a big one, but uh, I uh, was kicked off of a, a site, a platform for preaching the word, believe it or not. And, uh, well, it's all started uh, a couple months ago when uh, I was just, uh, just browsing around. I come across this site called uh, GodTube. It's like YouTube, but it's GodTube. And it was a Christian site. like It's like YouTube, but it's a Christian site where you could post whatever or watch whatever, devotionals, ministry, whatever. But, um, but anyways, I was on it. And uh, just a few days ago, a couple days ago, it, they locked me out of my account. And I looked on, I browsed on there. I could still see my videos. But it was like a day, a, day, a little after, yeah, a day after, uh, I was terminated off the site for um, preaching the word. Uh, like the videos I post on here, I posted some of them on there. And they, uh, apparently, uh, all I could think of is somebody complained about it and I got kicked off. No, uh, really, I didn't have no, uh, nobody told me any, uh, no notes or emails or anything to tell me that I'm, I'm kicked off or anything like that. So I don't know. Uh, but, but that's all I could ascertain because like I said, they never sent me any emails or nothing explaining why they did away with my, uh, account. But, um, I didn't, you know, I kind of expected it. I, I kind of expected I wouldn't get that much, uh, at least viewership from there because, uh, like I said before, most uh, professing Christians are uh, Bible illiterate. They don't know anything about the Bible except a couple little cozy uh, verses and chapters or a little bit of stories. But I can't blame them for kicking me off. I mean, it's like uh, they learned it from the preachers who learned it from other preachers who learned it from seminaries and theological schoolings and which they were indoctrinated these certain beliefs over what's in the bible uh but i'm gonna share a couple scriptures with you about this and uh i'm gonna go to isaiah uh verse 30 chapter 10 and if you have a bible just follow along with me right here says which say to the seers See not and to the prophets, prophecy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophecy deceits. So we don't want to hear the truth, like we don't want to hear the truth. What we want to hear is smooth things. Tell us good things. Don't warn us about bad things. Don't warn. Don't warn us about the errors of our way. You know, and when it comes to prophecy, you know. Pro, you know, don't tell us the truth there either. You know, tell us lies. Tell us sweet little lies. That's what that's what they're saying. Tell us something that's good news. We don't hear bad news. But the truth, the truth is the truth. No matter if it's good or bad, we need to know it. We need we need to be aware of it. Uh, but like I said, these this site. I like I said, I don't think I'd get much views. But I never I never thought I'd get kicked off. <laughs> And I'm not mad about it. I'm kind of shocked and surprised a little bit. I Maybe I shouldn't be. Uh, but uh, anyways, I'm going to go to uh, <clears throat> 2 Timothy right here. I'm going to go uh, 2 Timothy. They got a, there's a scripture in there I want to share with you. Second, <clears throat> 2 Timothy. <clears throat> excuse me. And it'll be uh, uh, chapter, chapter 4, verses uh, 2 to 5. And it says here, oops, uh, two to five, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. 
and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure inflictions, do the work of, the, of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. And the proof of thy ministry is the Holy Scriptures and not church dogma. It's not it's not the doctrines of man or nothing like that. And uh, here we go again. This is itching ears. They got teachers having itching ears. It's, it's what they want to believe, what they want to hear. They don't want to hear bad news. They don't want to hear the, the truth. They want they want to hear only their truth and preach your truth. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to Second uh, Thessalonians uh, chapter 2. And uh, see if I can find it. Uh, chapter uh, chapter two, verses ten through twelve. And this is Second Thessalonians. <clears throat> and with all deceitful benignity and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, Elohim shall send send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie uh, that they all might be judged who believe not the truth but have had pleasure in unrighteousness so it's prophesied that Yahweh would send strong delusions to people and they would believe a lie and we've got a lot of those people we've got a lot of those people if you see these mega churches and everything, they, they believe a lie that these uh, these uh, con men and con women are doing to milk milk them of their money. So they prefer that instead of the truth. And so be it, I guess. It's not right. It's 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 sinful and it's wrong and despicable. Uh, we'll go to jump back to Luke, the Gospel of Luke here, and. Uh, <clears throat> and it's going to be uh, chapter 6, chapter 6, and uh, chapter 6 and 46. <clears throat> here's the Messiah, here's what Messiah says. And here's a good qu question. And why call you me master, master, and do not do the things which I say? They all, people, people all believe in, believe, you know, they believe in Yeshua, they believe in Yahweh, they believe in the Holy Spirit, and when it comes to, they, they call him Master, Master, or whatever, they still don't do what he says. He says a whole bunch of things that they don't agree with, and uh, it's kind of like, you know, um, let's see, uh, you know, you say, you say in, some, in some references in the gospel, he say, keep the commandments. And they say, no, nope, we don't have to keep the commandments. But and it because that's an old, that's been done away with, that's been abolished, that's an Old Testament. And, and uh, modern, you know, the mainstream preachers, they think the Old Testament was done away with. But it's kind of ironic. They say everything, that stuff was nailed to the cross. But they say, well, tithing's not, tithing's not uh, nailed to the cross. Send all your funds to us. And then you'd be blessed beyond recognition. Well, you can't have it all ways. You can't sit there and say you hate the Old Testament and then try to take something from it like tithing, but everything else when it comes to uh, keeping the commandments or whatever, you, just, you can't do that. But they want to have their cake and eat it too. Now, finally, I'm just going to go to Matthew. I'm going to jump back to Matthew here, in chapter 7. Uh, let's see. Matthew chapter 7 and uh, 21 to 23. And it says here, Not everyone that saith unto me, Master, Master, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Master, Master, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done away many done many wonderful works? 
Then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work uh, iniquity. And that's what that's what he's going to say when the time comes. He's going to say, Depart from me. I don't know you. And uh, people better people people better start waking up because the time is coming close. Uh, twenty twenty three is just it's it's here and. Uh, and that's just another year we're closer to uh, the second coming. Just keep that in mind. And anyways, thanks. Thank you for uh, joining me. And I just wanted to spread the news. If you know, if you guys, you know, are content makers, have your ministries, whatever. I'm not discouraging you from from going there and setting up a, you know, profile and put your content on it. Just be weary what you post on it, though, because. They might kick you off too if they don't like what you what you're posting, and uh, my stuff it's 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 from uh, it's from the Bible. It's from either church history, uh, archaeology, uh, book reviews. But uh, and it's kind of funny people sit there and uh, talk about how the the liberal left has control of the media. And they kick off people, ban people that have uh, conservative views. You know, that could be, that's true. That's true. It is true. But if the shoe is on the other foot, just like I said, with this, this platform, uh, GodTube, you know, the, the conservatives would do it too. They would do it to the liberals or whoever they, they didn't. That's just human nature. They're trying to censor, censor censorship. And that's not right, but... Anyways, just beware if you get on there and be, be cautious. I mean, it could happen to you. I'm not saying it will, but it can. Just keep that in the back of your mind. So anyways, uh, that's all I want to say. And please comment below. Let me know if you've heard of that site or anything like that. And, uh, and please uh, watch my other videos. And also uh, give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell and subscribe. I really would appreciate that. Until we meet again, brothers and sisters, peace out and shalom.